Okay, so this is our 10K to 100K update. So firstly, this little update relates to Simon's Cat. It's not officially part of the 10K to 100K, but I just want to point something out because it's very, very relevant. And that is I went and staked $3,300 thereabouts worth of these tokens. Now, I was a master, but I've been relegated. I now have to get up from my rank at 716. I have to get higher. So I don't know how many points I actually need. So what I have to do is I have to go to Pancake Finance. I do think, by the way, that if you're in champion, you will get an allocation, but I want to stay in master, at least for this wallet. I've got plenty of conviction for this, and you have to you have to go with your conviction. You also have to make the right kind of bets with the right kind of size. You, like if you went in with a you know 50% of your portfolio and you're right, you'd be a genius. But that's a very risky thing to do. So these sort of things, nothing's financial advice, but you want to go in with like, you know, a couple of percent kind of maximum, maybe five if there's strong conviction. All right, so let me take a little bit of uh, USDT, and then I have to go and find TokenFi. Found it here. If you think this is not the right one, you can do it a couple of different ways to work out if it is the right one. You can come into your tokens, you can click at this. This is like, maybe we can even see it here. Here, contract address. We can copy that, and then we can come in here and we can paste it like that. This is the correct one. Or we can go and find it on CoinGecko. So I don't know what I need, but I'm going to go with like another $400. Probably best if you have lower slippage here. So the slippage tolerance, just so you don't get front run. Uh, I'm going to do a custom of like uh, 0.25. And if the transaction fails, the transaction fails. And then I'm going to be entering to Jito Soul. And I'm going to jump into more of the actual challenge. Let's try this. Trading fee, $1. All right, it's, it's not going to work. It's not as easy as Solana. And that's okay. They've had... A lot of time to build though, so it's a little bit annoying. And the market fees for actual using BNB chain are a little bit high. That's one bearish thing for BNB chain is the higher fees. I haven't managed to work out those fees. Now we're going to come back to our token stakes. I'm going to go and claim these random tokens. Each one of these is what, like four cents. So nothing crazy there. And I'm spending 24 cents on BNB, but I'll still do it. I wouldn't be doing this normally unless there's like a couple of hundred. Then we'll go and stake some more and hopefully we go up a tier. All right. Back home, get started. How much would you like to stake? Max. I'm going with the four-year duration that's covered in the video, but it's basically because we get more points. Confirm. Next. The first one is just approving how many tokens we can spend. This is a normal thing on EVMs. We can like set unlimited amounts, but that's not normally good practice. So we'll have one more transaction here. You can also use Rabi Wallet which has a maybe a cleaner UI. However, I'm used to this and it just kind of works. You need to be far more vigilant though when you're doing this. All right, this staking should be all good and we'll check at the end to see if we actually managed to go up our, um, our level. If I refresh this, I think it's still going to say champion. So we'll give it a little bit of time. All right, now onto the actual 10K to 100K challenge. So if we go and grab this link and we have a look on Sonar.watch, I don't think we're going to have anything great. Like I, like maybe I'm like 10,100 or something, 10,200, maybe even slightly under 10,000 because Sol has been dipping and other tokens we've kind of aped into have dipped. And like, I'm perfectly fine with that. All right, so we're, we're down a little bit. Now, what I've done is I've gone and bought some Camino. I have some random ore. I've got some more JLP and I have some Sol. So I want to go and do a, little, a few things. Mostly I want to use Camino. So we'll probably just go straight to Camino. We'll go and stake the Camino tokens. So we'll connect our wallet. I'm very bullish with the Camino, with Camino in general. I need to do a far bigger deep dive into it, like specifically to see how much potential it actually has, like in terms of like, can this token legitimately do a 10x? We're not going to have the days of the previous cycle of 100x. But a 10x, 20x, this could definitely be 100% possible, especially if there are more rewards for people that are actually doing using their Camino tokens. All right, so we've staked that. That's what I want to do. We get this nice little boost. This boost gives us more points, which then gives us more Camino tokens in the future. That's what the utility is thus far. Then I want to go to multiply. I've got all this JLP. It makes sense to me to multiply it. The max APY has dipped down. That means if we go to dupe.ag and go to perps, we're going to see here the earn has decreased. Just not as many people are just degening and using this. So there are less fees going into there. There's a Dune dashboard, which can show us the number of fees. And that's covered in the JLP video on the Jupyter ecosystem channel. JLP, multiply this. I never like to go too high. Here you are. I've got $5 of profit on what I'm doing. And I can just, uh, I think I can just adjust my position. No, I can't. I have to deposit a new position. Max. There is a borrow fee. So don't do this if you're going to do it for a week or two weeks. You need to outperform this borrow fee. 
How long does that take? I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's like um, maybe maybe a month. No, it would be a month. Maybe maybe it's like three weeks. All right, so I've just gone added more. So this should still be at this multiplier. So it sticks at this multiplier. What we probably have to do if we want to go a little bit more degenerate is just pump it up like this. This would still be pretty safe. Maybe we'll go to 2.5. No, I don't want to teach you bad leverage. Let's let's stick let's stick with how it is at two. Now let's jump into liquidity. I keep on mentioning Jito Sol and PYUSD. And my preference was to do this a few days ago because that way you could see like that we're actually earning rewards, but I wanted to do it relatively live. So this does not get any met points, and that's okay. You cannot see me, and we'll just have it so that we can see it. So it's earning 52%. So at present, we get JTO rewards, which JTO hit price tends to hit $4. PYUSD, that's a decent reward as well. So I want to deposit into here. We don't have a lot of liquidity, and this is where I'm going to be slightly more degenerate. So we have some Solana tokens, that's fine. We have a little bit of USDC. We have no PayPal USD. So what we can actually do is we can go to Jito Network and we can connect our wallet, of course, this makes sense. And then we can actually go and stake our actual our actual uh, validator.com stake. We can migrate that over this. We can convert this to Jito Sol and then we're good. We, we transfer this over, we get Jito Sol instead. It's still staked with the validator, but we no longer have access to it. Of course, I still want to have my soul generally staked with uh, validator.com. So I'd still come into Solana here and go and stake it. But oh, here it is here. Sorry, stake. So I'm going to go and put in another three soul validator.com. Three soul, 3.5. That way we're always kind of continuing to stake. But I'm going to go and try something to outperform and to get us back over uh, $10,000. Then we'll come back here and I want to go and borrow some PUSD. So the weight that we get with Jito Sol, it's only 55%. This, it's not, it's not amazing. Uh, and then we can go and borrow. We can't borrow anything here because the cap is actually filled. If we click on this and we come on down, we can see the only people that can borrow more is, uh, well, it's, it's full. I don't know why it says that we can. This is 5 million. This is 10 million. So we can't actually borrow PYUSD there. So what we could potentially try is MarginFi. If you don't know the correct links for things, just go back to dupe.ag, click on the cat, welcome to Solana. Get started, scroll on down, explore the Solana apps, and then just find whatever, whatever it is that you think it is. Is it DeFi? Yes, MarginFi. MarginFi went through a whole lot of FUD few months ago. They've also kind of delayed their token. They say they don't need, like, they, they haven't had the best messaging. Um, this is a little bit annoying. And they're making us go through a few more steps, but that's okay. Skip this. So if we jump into, if we go and put it here, we have a lot more weight. We can borrow more. We don't want to degen too much, but we can borrow more. And then we can borrow PY as well, as far as I'm aware. So I want to do this. Let's go and supply. We've got 20. So I want to go and supply just like 12. No, 13. Supply. First is a Solana transaction just to make this all work. And then we then we take out the 13 soul. Now this will still get some sort of points, but I just have no idea when we'll actually end up getting a token. That's still a profitable, a profitable business. Now we want to get some PYUSD. So we'll go to borrow and we can go, okay, there's nothing available which is damn annoying. So now we have to go and borrow the cheapest available other token, such as that is stablecoin, such as this one or this one, utilization, we need the APY. So USDT, too expensive, USDC is this. So now we can go and borrow. If I go and borrow max, like the chance of liquidation, I don't like it, it's way too scary. So I'm going to go um, a little bit more reasonable is what I think, something like 600. We can go a little bit more, but we need to do, we need to monitor these, these actually quite well. This would mean essentially if Jito Sol halved in value, then we'd be liquidated. So we've got that. Now we can go ahead and we can swap it. We can swap it just straight back at Jupe, or we can swap it in our wallet. And let's go to, uh, before I go any further though, we'll go back to Camino and I need to go to liquidity. I need to find out how much I actually need. How much do I need in order to profit off this? Jito Sol and PYUSD. Where are you? PYUSD. Okay. It was at 55%. So we should see it if we can. All right. It's this one. So we're not going to go with single. If I went with like max, then I would need 600 USD. So we'll go and grab approximately that. We'll go take 
635, I'm going to teach you something about slippage here as well. You shouldn't need this high slippage rate because we could be front run ever so slightly and I'll show you how. Some people will run MEV bots and make pennies, cents, you know, nothing. After this is loaded, it will show the minimum we could be receiving. So we could, with this slippage, we could lose $3, which is silly. This is why it's better to be all over it. 0.1, this should be fine. We should still be able to get that and that way we're losing like uh, a dollar. It's better. It's it's far better. And we, we need to pay something. And we do need to pay something, of course. We need to pay something to the LPs. And that was all we needed. So we didn't get front run. We're good. Now we'll jump back to PYUSD and GetoSol. We've got all this. We've got all this. We'll deposit and stake. I'm aware. Read these, of course. Complete the deposit and then approve. Now we're going to be starting to earn seven day fees and also daily JTO rewards and daily PYUSD rewards. The goal, of course, is just to grow the portfolio. If Jito Sol starts to, if Sol and Jito Sol start to move up in a, a decent pattern, like where we think, okay, this is not going to be going in this range like this, then I'm going to pull out the liquidity. Otherwise, I will suffer the devastating impermanent loss, which has now been renamed to divergence loss. If we have a look at over a long term, we need to see how it's been performing. So we won't just go with PYUSD because that's uh, like most of us hold crypto, right? We're not just holding all stables. The Camino strategy has only just outperformed just hodling the pair, but this does not include the fact that you're getting extra rewards. This only goes off the actual APY. If you just hodled Jito Sol, you would be down more. And if we even go over like the last 30 days, this is still outperforming. Plus, remember, you know, it was 90%. Now we're getting incentives here at like an extra 12% here, an extra 16% here, as well as 23%. So it's nothing crazy, but it's all worthwhile. I think that's enough things to kind of cover today. We'll just have a quick look and see if there's anything else that we could go and do it with. I've got a small amount of this. I do have a little bit of USTC. I did say that I'm going to keep that all in PYUSD. So we'll go and take all this We'll put it into this and then I'll go and put it into Lulo and then that will be the end of our, our day of just 10k to 100k challenge. This is the time to be learning all these things and I think we'll be doing far better in a few months time. Of course if you don't have $10,000 you don't have to do any of this. Nothing is of course financial advice in any way but what I why do I have just I think I've only got USDC in here withdraw. Okay well it looks like I need to actually withdraw this and go and convert this into PYUST. So I'll do that now as well. I'll withdraw and I'll swap it over, then I'll go and redeploy it. Because now I'm starting to feel that PYUSD, it is, this was, it's more what I want to hold. And I'm I'm okay with that. So what I was saying is, this is a time when we're not expecting any crazy returns, in my belief. Maybe Simon's Cat does really, really well. But this is the time just to be learning these things, getting, getting amongst it. The markets are quiet. And then I think they're going to come back and reward us. Swap all this, flick it back in. That's now good. Come back in here. Posit it all. And just whatever wallets you're using with Lulo, just make sure that you know what, what they are. That way we can find stable coins if we need to pull them out for any reason. And in general, I think it's good to have 20% of your portfolio in stables. That way you can always deploy them. So when our sell goes up, we'll have less value in stables. I will sell some sell or whatever tokens we're holding that have gone up and then I'll redeploy it back into stables. That's enough, I think, for our 10K to 100K challenge today. We'll end the video here. Thanks very much for watching.